All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Akwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, as you can see here, this video, this lesson, okay, is going to be um, focusing on the theater, okay, and really um, the uh, the similarity, okay, between uh, uh, Rome, all right, ancient Rome, all right, the, uh, the, the pagan Roman empire and, um, America today. Okay. Which we understand that Rome, all right, is, is back here again, all right, as NATO and the EU. Okay. However, you gotta understand that with NATO and the EU, the main, uh, uh though America is not a part of the EU, the main, uh, head, all right, or the main, uh, uh, um, leader, Okay, of them you could say is America. Okay, because they are they are a, a Western uh, uh, um, group, and 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 the one leading that Western group is America. Okay, and within America you have a lot of um, a lot of uh, uh, laws and and uh, customs. Okay, which if you're not learned, you would think were American. However, they really go back to to ancient, ancient Greece, ancient Rome, Babylon, okay, Egypt. But today I'm going to focus on um, um, the theater, okay, the theater asp aspect, which, as you can see, the spelling looks a little different because before it got changed, all right, as it will tell you here, it says originally it was spelled theatra or theatra from around 1550 to 1700s or later, uh, and then the most common spelling was theater, all right? So it got changed from that, from theatra to, to uh, theater, okay? But I'm just going to show you, all right, the the, 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 the uh, resemblance, okay, of what you would see here and where it really came from, all right? So if, let's go into this real quick. This is um, theater, all right? Uh, theatra or theater is a collaborative form of fine art that uses uh, live performers, typically actors or actresses, to present um, the experience of a real or imagined event before a live audience in a specific place, often a stage, okay? Now, you also have amphi amphitheater, which was more of the places where they would do things like uh, 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 um, um, uh, gladiators, fights, and, you know, more of those kind of things. And then you had the regular theater theater or theatra, which would be for, like, plays, you know, or, or performances like, like we're reading here. All right. So it says, um, it says uh, the performers may communicate this experience to the audience through combinations of gesture, speech, song, music, and dance. So when you go to watch a play, okay, You'll see how the um, the 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 uh, uh, the room or the building that you're in is designed in a specific way. All right, which I'll pull up the image. Okay, but that's nothing new. And oftentimes, what kind of plays do they do they have performing? Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so it says elements of art such as um such as painted scenery. And stagecraft, such as lighting, are used to enhance the physicality, presence, um, and the immediacy of the experience. The specific place of the performance is also named by the word theatra as derived from the ancient Greek theatron, a place for viewing. Because what happens when you go to the theater, you go to watch something. Just like when you go to the movie theater, you go to watch a movie. Okay. If you want to go see a play, you still have to go to that theater. If you want to go see an opera, you still have to go to that theater. So it's a place of viewing, a place of watching. Okay? Even a stadium. Okay? A sports stadium, a basketball stadium, a baseball stadium, soccer stadium. These are all uh, 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 what, what, what was called an amphitheater. Which, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that up as well. But before I continue, okay... I'm going to just pull this one precept real quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. It says, The thing that hath been 
it is that which shall be, and that also which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So what we're going over right now is nothing new, okay? The system in place right now is nothing new. It's just an adopted and refined version of an old system, okay? Because it's the same people coming back in the reincarnation. So it says, um, it says itself from Theaomai the, the, the to see, to watch, to observe. Modern Western theater comes in large measure from the theater of ancient Greece, which the Romans later adopted. All right. They adopted that structure and everything. Um, the ancient Greek drama was a uh, theatrical culture that flourished in ancient Greece from 700 BC, the city state of Athens, which became a significant culture, cultural, political, and military power during this period was its center where it was institutionalized as part of a festival called Dio, Dionys, Dionysia. And then it goes on. It says, from which it borrows technical terminology classification into genres and uh, and many of its themes, stock characters, and plot, um, plot elements. Um, now, let me see. There it is, Roman theater. Let me see if they have the amphitheater. It says, um, Western Western theater developed and, and expanded considerably under the Romans. The Roman history, uh, Le Levi, wrote that the Romans first experienced theater in the 4th century BCE with the performance of uh, Etruscan actors. It says, Be um, Bacham argues that they had been um, they had been familiar with pre-theatrical practices for some time before that uh, that recorded contact. The theater of, of ancient Rome was a thriving and diverse art form, pre-theatrical, pra um, ranging from festival and performances of street theater, nude dancing and uh, acrobatics, to staging... Um, Plato's broadly appealing uh, situation, comedies to the high life, verbally elaborate uh, tragedies of Seneca. See, and 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 the same thing that you see happening then, well, you see happening now. Okay, now let me look up the amphitheater. <laughs> All right. It says the amp the amphitheater um, is an open an open air venue used for entertainment, performances, and sports. Okay. Now this is the main part I wanted to get. The term derives from the ancient Greek amphitheatron, because remember the Greeks were before the Romans. All right, and the Romans adopted some of the Greeks' uh, 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 ideologies and forms. Okay because they were both Edomites. So in in, 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 in America, you have a, a, a combination of not just a, a, a Roman Roman uh, uh, tradition, so to speak, but you also have Greek in there too, all right? That's why on your dollar bill, you see it's written on there in Latin, all right? Novus Ordo Seclorum, all right? Novus meaning uh, a new, Ordo meaning uh, order, and then uh, seclora meaning age or ages. So the, the 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 new order of the ages, right? So it says um, the term derives from the ancient Greek amphitheatron, meaning on both sides or around. That's why when you when you are in a theater, what happens? You have the stage or the field, right? When you're in a stadium, the stage of the or the field is on the is in the is in the center. Right. And then you have the, the seats are around that center, whether it's at a wrestling uh, a, a stadium. OK. Wherever it may be, the seats are always structured the same uh, or a similar way. It says uh, um, 
theatron meaning place for viewing. Ancient Roman amph amphitheaters were oval or circular in plan with seating tiers that surrounded the central performance area like a modern open air stadium. In contrast, both ancient Greek and ancient Roman theaters were built in a semicircle with um, with tiered seating rising on one side of the performance area. You see, so it, it, it always had that little like slant going up. The further you are, the higher you are. All right. It says in um, in modern usage, an amphitheater may consist of a theater style stages or of theater style stages with uh, spectator seating on only one side. Uh, theaters in 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 the round and and stadia natural um, formations of similar shape are sometimes known as natural amphitheaters. Now, let me show you an example, right? I typed in theater, okay, uh, uh, in ancient Rome. Now, you see this? You have the stairs and you have the, it going up to the theater, right? Now, look at this. This is Yankee Stadium, okay? You see the resemblance? Do you think that they just decide, decided they wanted to take, they wanted to build it, having it structured looking like this just by coincidence? No. Look at it. Look at the design. Boom. Same kind of design. Why? Because it's it's modernized. Okay? It's been modernized, man. It's designed to look like this because it, it does not original. It comes it comes from ancient uh, uh Greek, ancient Rome. All right, look at this. Look. Boom. Boom. You see, the the stadium or the, the 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 center. What you're viewing is in the center, right? And then the seating is all around, and it goes up. You see, and it's like that. And the further you are, the higher the higher the seats. Okay, and it's the same thing you see here, man. The closer you are, the the, the lower the seats are, front row seats. And then the further you are, the higher the seats. Okay. So it says, uh, let me see. Uh, Roman amphitheaters, uh, ancient Rome amphitheaters were major public venues, circular or oval. Oh, no, this, this would be, oh, let me see. Where is this? Well, apparently this is, this is in France. It says, uh, Arles Amphitheater, France, a Roman arena still used for bullfighting plays and summer concerts. You see? Sorry. Okay, so it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing back again. And and they and what did they have in uh, uh what did they do in these uh these amphitheaters? They would they would entertain. It would be in for, for entertainment, and people would go to that. To what? To go see and witness it, because that's what it, it was, a place for viewing, right? It says ancient um, amphitheaters were major public venues, circular or oval in plan, with perimeter seating um, uh, tiers. They were used for events such as gladiator combats, right? Now, what do they call? Yeah, I, 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 let me see if that's, if that's what it's still called. Um. Mm. Okay. Well, modern day, a uh, modern day, uh, uh, um, I say UFO, UFC, Gladiator. Let me see. Um, look at that. A uh, 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 fight night, modern day gladiator. Okay, because the the modern day gladiators today would be would be what these look look see would be uh, uh these fighters boxing UFC kickboxing MMA. All right. 
look, Gladiator. Okay, so they're not even changing the names. It's the same thing, man. It's the same thing. This this was the this was the Roman version of UFC. UFC. Okay, except it would be to you know to your death. All right, and 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 uh, and and that happens sometimes in 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 UFC. You have people that die. You have boxers that have dropped dead from uh, while boxing. Okay. Um, right. Now look at this. It's the same thing. You see the seating, how it rises up, and then the 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 the, the ring or where they're fighting is in the center. The design and architecture is the same because it comes from from ancient uh, 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 Rome. All right, going back to ancient ancient Greece. Okay, but it's the same thing. So when people come there, they come to see what they come to see gladiator combats. All right. Uh, and a gladiator was an armed combat or combatant who entertained audiences in the Roman Republic and Roman Empire in violent confrontations with other gladiators, wild animals, and condemned criminals. Some gladiators were volunteers who risked their lives and their legal social standing. So guess what? In today's day and age, though they might not have uh, uh, um, um, uh, spears or swords, but what do they call what do they call their hands? They call it a, a, a um, 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 damn. What's the term for it? Because I think let me see. Let's see. Right, right. Um, it says, "Why do pro boxers have to register their hands?" Uh, let me see, because I know I've heard I've heard about that, you know, as well, where they basically their hands are considered uh, uh, lethal weapons or or a deadly weapon or whatever the case may be. Hmm. Well, anyway, it is what it is. However, yeah, I, I, I have heard that where they 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 would say what that a, a fighter like a professional fighter because that's why they can't be getting into street fights like that because their 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 uh, uh, hands would be considered a, a weapon because of how trained it is. It can kill. Okay. So in essence, that's what you see going on today in the modern version. And they go and fight against other other gladiators or other combatants, right? In that in that uh, arena, that's what it's called. It's called an arena. Okay, and they fight there. Sometimes they get injured, but uh, where do you think all this comes from, man? Whether it's boxing, now it said it was what for for to entertain the, the audience. You people people, what do people do before a boxing fight? You have people that, that, that throw bets, right? People that get so excited. Yo, you heard about this guy? Yo, this guy? Yo, Manny Pacquiao's about to fight this guy? Or Mayweather's about to fight this guy? Who you think is going to win? That's that's what? They're, they're excited because they can't wait to watch the boxing match or they can't wait to, to, you know, go there to the actual place, pay money to watch the fight. It's entertaining. Guess what? That's not a new concept. So it says they were used for events such as gladiator combats, chariot races, okay? It says um, chariot racing was one of the most popular Iranian, ancient Greek, Roman, and Byzantine sports. Chariot racing was dangerous to both drivers and horses as they often suffered serious injury and even death, but these dangers added to the excitement and interest of spectators. Now notice how they're running in a circle, right? You're running in a circle. You're racing in a circle. Well, guess what? When you go to these Olympics and all these things, what do you see going on there? They're running without horses, but they're running. Whether it's, whether it's a two two hundred meter, all right, or one hundred or one hundred, or a four hundred meter race. All these different things. Uh, NASCAR racing, okay. 
motorcycle racing, guess what? A modern day chariot is a vehicle. So they might not use horses, but they'll use motorcycles. They'll use their legs. You know, they'll use a NASCAR. Right? It says, um, uh, Venetians Vene Vene was a type of entertainment in the Roman amphitheater involving the hunting and killing of wild animals. Okay. Well, today you have things like, uh, 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 uh um, the thing where they do with the bull, I forgot what it's called. All right. But they'll get, once again, they always get in the center. Right. And then you have an audience around them and then they'll have the little, uh, red cloth and then they'll have the bull, uh, 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 um, basically come at it as they, they stab it, you know, it says in executions, um, about 200, uh, 230 Roman amphitheaters have been found across the area of the Roman Empire. Now, let me ask you a question. When, uh, uh, like something like Yankee Stadium, right? Or, 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 you know, any stadium. It's not just one in America. And it's not just in America. You have stadiums all around. Okay? So you might find maybe two, three, whether it's a, 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 a soccer stadium, a football stadium, a basketball stadium. Guess what? These are all stadiums. All right, or amphitheaters, and and they're placed all in different locations of of the uh, of the country and of the world. You know, when they hold these um, um, Olympics in different locations, that is also a form of an amphitheater. So it says, um, their typical uh, shape, functions, and name distinguish them from Roman theaters, which are more or less semicircle in shape or semicircular in shape from the um, circuses. Roman cir uh, circus was a large open area, uh, large open air venue used for public events in the ancient Roman empire. All right. It says uh, similar to hippo hippodromes it was an ancient Greek stadium for horse racing and chariot racing. Okay. Um, whose much longer uh, circuits were designed mainly for horse or chariot racing events and from the smaller stadia, which were uh, primarily designed for athletics or foot racers. Ooh. Okay. So now you see that there was a difference between the Roman theaters and the amphitheaters. Look, look at how it's designed. You see? That's how it is when you go to some of these sophisticated uh, opera opera things or or or, or uh, plays. All right, that that would be for actual theater, okay. And then you have an amphitheater because a stadium is 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 designed differently than a movie theater or a theater to watch a play, okay? Because it's a different kind of theater. All right. Um, it says the earliest the earliest Roman amphitheaters date from from the middle of the first century BCE, but most were built under imperial rule from uh, Augustan period, 27 BCE, 14 CE onward, imperial amphitheaters were built through the Roman Empire. The largest could accommodate 40,000 to 60,000 spectators. Does that sound, does, does that not sound similar? Now they expand the stadiums where you have 70 something thousand, you know, how you look at a, uh, you look at a, let me see, WWE um, stadium. Oh. See the outside. You ever wondered why they're all designed like that? Look at this. Boom, all packed, all packed. But look at the design, the architecture of it, okay? And then the, the, the place where you're, you're supposed to be watching is right there on the ground in the center. There's nothing new under the sun, man, okay? Nothing new under the sun. So let me finish this off real quick. Um, it says the most elaborate featured uh, multi, multi-stored uh, arcaded, facades um were elaborately decorated with marble stucco and uh statuary after the end 
After the end of gladiatorial games in the 5th century and of the staged animal hunts in the 6th, most amphitheaters fell into disrepair. Their materials were mined or recycled, some were raised, um, and others were converted into uh, fortifications. Uh, a few continued as convenient open meeting places in some uh, of these ch um, in some of these churches were cited. See, so some of it, that's why when you you look at certain images, you know, um, let's see if I have it here. If you if you type in Roman theater, some of them you'll see is what is broken up. Um, let me see. Oh, this looks modern. You know, they still have the uh, the, the the structural the the uh, design is still there. All right. Let me see if they have any. You see, so so because after a while, if nobody's using it, guess what? It it, it goes, it breaks down again. However, uh, uh, um, however, okay. It um, look at this. See, same thing. But like I said, it's been adopted back here. All right, in into 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 uh, uh society today. All right, as well as uh bread and circuses. Well, this is an example of bread and circuses. Okay. When you look at uh, uh, artists who go to perform, guess what? A lot of them are also, uh, 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 it's, it's the same thing, man. They'll have a little stage uh, or like a platform and they'll sing or they'll perform and people will come to watch. Guess what? That's also a form of bread and circuses, but this this is this is nothing new, okay? Just one more similarity or one more uh, 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 comparison or image or or uh, piece, all right, of, of uh, resemblance Okay, to 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 the uh, uh, ancient Rome or ancient Greek, or uh, Greece. All right, but you know I'm gonna end it end it here. Okay, Lord willing, you know this was at the final to the elect. Lord willing, you able to learn something. Okay, understanding that you know, like going back to this precept, Ecclesiastes one and nine, <clears throat> there is no new thing under the sun. Okay, so yeah, Lord willing, this was at the final to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Until next time, shalom.